Hey guys, my name is Anatoly. Welcome to Define Agile YouTube channel where we talk everything Agile, we talk everything Agile tools. And then we're talking about Jira and we're going to talk about how to edit your workflow. Let's say I have already workflow there and you want to edit it to change certain things. I'll show you a very fast way how to do that. Before we do, there are two things. If you want to learn Jira very quickly, about eight hours from basic to advanced with all the permissions, workflows, everything you need to know, you can go to get my help section and get my course. It is very affordable. It is there for you and it will teach you everything you need to know. In the same sense, I go through things one by one very sequentially so you will not get lost at all. And then if you are completely stuck, there's a second thing I want to offer you. You need somebody to help you set up your Jira, help you with your Agile tools, um, anything. Agile, just interview preparation. You can go and schedule a time with me or somebody from my team. Go to a Calendly link and I uh, will be able to help you out. So now since those two things are out of the way, let's get to editing workflow. I'm on a Scrum project right now. Here is my board. And I want to go and start editing the workflow. What do I do? Well, first of all, I go to project settings. I click on workflows. And you need to be an administrator for that. So make sure you are a project administrator. If you're not, you might not see the edit action. So there's a lot of people like Anatoly, I follow your... Um, tutorials, but I don't see certain buttons. Well, this is the regular Jira cloud. I'm not even using the version on a server. So you should have the same thing I do if you have the right permission. So make sure you do have an admin permission. Um, if you don't, you might not see the action. So then go to edit. Here you are. This is your workflow. I actually like the diagram way because for me, it's just easier to understand. So it says everything can go to to do, everything can go to done. Let's say we want to change something. We want to make sure that when QA in staging is done, only then it can go to in production. So let me show you. I'm creating a transition no matter what I do. QA on staging done. I want to add anything. It says you cannot perform separation on draft action. But this is a draft, so I don't understand. This is, I think the problem is associated with the product already. It's a sign, so you can do it uh, because maybe there are some stories already in, in the wrong places or anything like that. I don't know. I think it's a bug. I think it's very, very annoying. I don't like it at all. I like a lot of things about Jira. I hate bugs like that. Just saying it right here. Uh, there is a workaround. It's pretty long, but let's do it because you guys will face it anyway. I want to make sure that you guys know the workaround. So to work around on this, you need to publish a draft. You need to click save backup. Yes. You need to say backup of SBP. Let's say SBP is the name of the board. Click publish. Okay. Now go to edit again. It's counterintuitive, but when we go to edit, we're changing a scope. So right now we are in, we can see things like workflows and workflow schemes on the administrative level, not in the project level. So what I want to do is I want to click on this workflow and open this in a new tab. Very important. So workflow to the left, you should see workflow schemes before uh, below it and open in a new tab. So see this is administrative workflows. And now we go to inactive ones. And here we have backup of SBP that we just created. We click edit. It says inactive here. So now we can play with it. We can play and do anything we want. So let's say we want to make sure that in production, uh, tickets and in production go only from staging, not for you cannot move to on staging to in production. You cannot move from in QA to in production. You can only move to in production from when QA and staging is done. To do that, you need to first delete this transition. 
because this means all of them can, can be transferred to in production. We don't want all of them, so we're deleting the transition. Delete, delete. Now it's red because nothing is moving to in production, but we're moving to in QA, from in QA to in production. And then we're saying QA on staging is done. We click add, boom, that worked. Very good. So here we are. We have our backup of SPB. We have, um, we edited it. And then now we can go back to our other tab and then we can associate this backup of SBP to the existing transition. So I'm back to my, uh, my project level. I say discard draft. I say discard. I don't care about this. I just did that to get the workflows. And here we are. So I need one you to get back to this screen. So then you can click add workflow, add existing. And then we need to say backup of SBP because it's right there. Click next. You can associate that with certain things. Let's say you want to only stories to move like that. I want everything to move like that. So I'll just click finish. So this is my workflow. Now it says there are unpublished changes. Do you want to publish the draft? Click publish. Associate. Click acknowledge. Here we are. Our workflow is done. It took us a while. There was a workaround. I know it's hard, but this is what you need to do. Now we're going back. Let's test this. So we move the story back to to do. And now I want to move it to in production. See, it doesn't allow us to do it. Maybe in progress. Yes. In QA. Yes, still can move it in production. See, it doesn't allow me to do it. What about if I do QA and staging? Can I move to production? Yes, only from QA and staging. So I move to in production and I move to done. Guys, it was a long one, but we were able to edit the workflow. I also show you a workaround of very nasty bug. I hope it helps. If you think it brought you value, please comment and like this, subscribe because uh, I'm releasing those videos almost every day, so you'll definitely benefit from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.